Yes, hello again. I just wanted to show off progress progress on this little project um, at uh, Mendelssohn's, the Dayton Ham Fest. I went to Mendelssohn's and found this. As soon as I walked in the third floor, the, the big floor, I found this on the shelf. As soon as I came in, I said, "Whoa, this is something I've been looking for." It is a, a gimbal's azimuth elevation. Uh, probably hung from the ceiling before a camera. There was a camera here. Uh, some electronics. It had one stepper motor, motor. The other one was missing. It had the timing belt, but it was missing a motor and a pulley. So I had to scrounge around and find, you know, the motor is pretty easy. It's a NEMA 17. Uh, pulley, I had to do a little research to figure out that that is a GT2 20 tooth pulley with a 5 millimeter bore. But, um, Anyway, uh, this will be eventually pointing a uh, 435 megahertz antenna at satellites as they go across the sky. This is really neat uh, slip rings assembly, so this can go all the way around. So uh, just a quick demo, I've got a SparkFun uh, stepper motor driver, a Pro Mini with a Excel stepper program in it that the SAC SAT NOGS group uses. And this will be based on the Satnogs design and firmware. But just for a demo, I have the uh, the bounce test in here cranked up a little bit, but but not uh, it's not really pushing it. But just to show that it does work, eventually this one will. Um, the azimuth has no end stop. It can go around and around forever. This has a little micro switch up here for hitting the end right up there. Kind of looks like a store display. It won't be waterproof or anything, but it should work for, for temporary, you know, put it outside on a tripod or so. Anyway, that was fun. Uh, next time I'll have azimuth and elevation working, maybe uh, pointing at the space station.